Hi, it's Sonia and welcome back to my art YouTube channel. Today, while I guess I'm in following on from uh, my previous video about um, how to, my tips and ideas on developing an art habit or if you're going to do a project, because I guess the new year's coming and we're all thinking about goals and aims. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to share while I'm on this vein, as it were, I, my ideas for um drawing and painting projects um so this is more i was sort of thinking for myself as well and it's in terms more if you're doing i think these are more probably short terms if like i talked about yesterday when you do a 365 day project it helped me to break it down week by week so i didn't get bored but at the same time i kind of had um an aim so i was just thinking of ideas for myself uh, that I thought I'd run through and I'll probably take a picture of this page and stick it on my Patreon as well because if anybody wants to reference it but um, basically and I've got sketchbooks beside me to show examples to try and make this more interesting as well but one of and it's just because I think we also sometimes need to come up with our own projects. I actually find, I love drawing challenges and if they work for you, great. But sometimes I find with other people's, if they've just got a list of words, that word, sometimes the thing that I need to draw, I don't feel like it. So what I'm trying to do with this is take my ideas, but maybe adapt them to how you like to draw or, you know, take what you need as it were. Okay, so my first um, one I want to come to is, and this is for myself, is uh, don't we all like to declutter? It's a good thing to do. Maybe my idea, and this has worked for me in the past, is to draw your items that you're decluttering, the ones that maybe you're giving away um, as a memento and as something to draw. Um, and so I just want to show my example of this because I'm going to do a sketchbook tour on it. Oh my gosh, my pile of sketchbooks is going to fall down but um, um but this sketchbook is one i will do a tour on it's from my like 100 day project and i think it was the second the second year i did it i can't remember because it seems to be day 37 but what i did was every day um i drew and i think i called it like i can't remember what i called it now I'm trying to find my style as well so it was drawing clothes both that i was I think I was like turned 40 and or was coming towards 40 and I wanted to like re I just had the kids I was finished with having kids and I was wanting to find my style again and I was getting rid of items in my wardrobe wardrobe we're just trying to draw actually these are my are these my shirts so I yeah and I don't have those anymore so it's good that I drew them um so I drew an item and I kept to a gouache and uh yeah so it's interesting looking back at these because these dresses I've since given away but um, and it was a fun way of sort of trying to, I think, sort of have a sort of an illustrator style. And I guess people do this as well with like weddings and um, artists now, like drawing sort of the bouquet of flowers before they uh, before they go. But I will do a sketchbook tour about that project and that sketchbook because that was fun. And then maybe you don't want to, you're not decluttering as such, but you're tidying. Maybe you could just draw all the items in one drawer as well if you're into like drawing, trying to get better at drawing. I guess it's that whole Danny Gregory thing, isn't it? Drawing your stuff, drawing, drawing your life. Um, my second idea, which I've broken down, is what I was thinking about for myself, is photos. I've got so much digital and it's even worse now making videos and, and um, photos and um, stuff. But on my phone and on my laptop, there's a whole load of digital clutter, as it were. Um, so what I was thinking about as a project is drawing photos, like going back through my photo library, finding those sort of blurry, not great photos, and then drawing from them. Because they might actually, the blurry ones, are great if you're trying to loosen up. So every day draw a photo that you're then deleting was another idea. Or just, you can mine, you've got a whole reference library for yourself on your um, devices. I know that involves drawing from screens. On the other hand, you could print out just on cheap paper, things to draw from as well if you trying to get away from screens or would find that too distracting. Number three, um, oh, and I've got another, sorry, I've got an example for that as well, because I have been doing that. Did I even mark the page as well? Yes. Okay. So yeah, this this couple of spreads, What this one is when I was on a run, I'd take a picture so yeah drawing from physical photos like taking a run i'd go on a run and always take a picture and then i'd come home and i would limit myself by just drawing with a i think it's a 8b a very soft pencil 
But um, this was a fun little way of filling up this sketchbook, which actually is nearly full. And then you can, another fun idea that I know a lot of artists, I mean, these aren't, I know this is nothing new, but sometimes it's good to, and this is for myself, to have a reminder of all the options that are out there, especially if we're feeling a bit bored or um, just, uh, uh, say what to draw. Draw from older journals and sketchbooks. So sometimes now I will, like with my, this is a new one actually. Yeah. Like this page here, this, particularly this, is growing from previous drawings in sketchbooks. And it seems to get looser and looser and more minimalistic, which is quite fun. So using your own, your own sketchbooks and journals as material. Number five, I've got down, read. Um, I was wanting to get into like poetry. I feel like I've never, I want to, there's some poems I do love, but I don't get, I was thinking maybe it would be a good way to read more poetry and to learn to appreciate it more and even have a go, maybe even write your own, is if to maybe every day you could draw a response to a poem, like, you know, or even illustrate it if that's more your thing, but just to get me a bit more in touch with that. I haven't, I haven't ever done that, let me know if you have, but that's something I've been thinking about. And I know, again, artists do this a lot as well. Draw books you've read this year. This is the one I spoke about in my previous video, but I did do this as part of my Drawing a Day project and I stuck it And Then, this is an interesting, it was an interesting seven days because I also kept uh, th these envelopes. You know, you get the envelopes and I took them apart and I used them to, uh, to do my drawings and paintings on because the gouache, this is one of, yeah. and. Julia, I loved her draw the peek into that. That was a really cool book. And um, yeah, so it, and I sort of went for actually book covers that caught my fancy because I wanted them to be brightly coloured on this um, spread. But yeah, this is another idea, a week of, oh, and then I did some flowers on this one. This sketchbook is not, this book is not finished. But anyway, that's just another idea uh, to illustrate your reading. And even if you've given the books back to the library, I mean, you can find um, pictures of the covers online. Number seven, write a line from a book. Yeah, I was thinking about this when I was reading in bed. Sometimes like when you read a line of a novel, it's such a good not line and it's so evocative and you're at the scene. I try and, I don't do it, but I do have a pen and paper. I could do this. Just writing down that line and maybe then the next day you've got a basis for an illustration, like to use sort of how you imagine it maybe it sets a scene maybe it just will jump it's a jumping off point for a drawing um maybe if it talks about a place in the book you want to look up that place like go on map crunch or, and and find the place so it actually helps you sometimes to research the book more number eight is abstract this is about abstract art so my ideas with this because i am actually i'm going to share now Uh, this this is my new abstract book and I am trying to actually do one every day. I would like this to be like a 30 day project for me to work in it consistently for 30 days. And, um, but other ideas I've done in the past are limiting my palette to, so three colors, I, um, and just limiting and then seeing what ar arises. Um, and you could even do, uh, keep for three colors every day but just vary them every day for a week uh, that's another idea that's one i haven't i just started so that's uh for abstract sketchbooks oh number nine private sketchbook so this is probably only going to really make i mean maybe this is all of you anyway but for those of us that do share our work online wherever um I feel, I wonder, I just, it's just interesting. What would happen? And I guess I have actually got a journal a bit at the moment. No, I am sure. I, mean, I probably should do this for myself, actually. What would happen if I kept, um, my, all my sketchbooks used to be like this as well at one point, but a private sketchbook, top secret from anybody, like, and fill it maybe even fill it deliberately with what you consider ugly art, just to see, how does that, you know, just really exploring 
private things and with but maybe even with the uh anticipation that you may burn it may be one of those like you may burn it get rid of it recycle it draw on top of it but just uh, i wonder in this day and age especially for artists who are like you know we have to are trying to you know have careers or work having something completely private is um an idea What's this number 10 altering old sketchbooks old work so yeah hopefully you've seen a couple i did a very recently so i'm not going to get that one out but i did do a altered sketchbook where i found one of my old sketchbooks and i did sort of floral still life i repainted over the pages and i transformed it and that for me was i'm going to go back to that sort of a project it was really fun and it loosened me up it made me much more playful and it was low pressure this is another i guess in the same vein altering a this is altering a book but you know how you can pick up old books from libraries and sometimes people leave them outside their houses for free because otherwise they're gonna get pulp but um but you, the only thing i would say with an altered book for me personally is choosing the material to cover up with like i didn't i didn't i nearly tried it again with a shiny cookbook and i just wasn't pleasing for me but this was a way of yeah altering something and it was when i was starting to get into abstract art so i felt more free oddly enough in this sort of like i'd got this for like a dollar or at the library okay and that's that's an altered book project there is a sketchbook tour of of this one on my sketchbook tour playlist uh oh yeah so following on from that where is i had another idea for myself um if i do get better at keeping a written journal maybe like or have a diary yeah like i've got diaries now just filled up because i have to write stuff um lists to write <laughs> otherwise I'm not organised to keep myself on top of things, I could like cover that up and use it as a journal, as a as a book in the future. And then also sometimes we get these, um, gosh, this is my kids. One of my kids uh, years ago, like when he was little, obviously started a, um, yeah, it's his, but this is lovely, this notebook, he, he doesn't want it. I think this would be great. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's almost like I'm precious about this really nice notebook. So yeah, so using up notebooks for a project, that could be a fun thing. Um, okay, number 12. Oh, this is a hard, this is what I was, ugh, you know you have mad thoughts like in the shower or when you're lying in bed. And I was, I was thinking about how art before I get on my phone in the mornings. What would it be like to get up in the morning and the first thing you do and it's not even it's, it's not even before breakfast because sometimes I don't eat breakfast till a bit later, like before coffee. Like, no, I couldn't do it before coffee. But like art before scrolling, like going on your phone to look at email, to look at messages. Um, I'm, not, I'm not even that bad about it. It's not like I'm going on scrolling, but it's it's just so tempting to pick up, and that would be hard, I think, to do that. But isn't anybody who is like doing digital detoxes art before before yeah. It's a bit like I think in Danny Gregory's, I think he wrote a book, didn't he? Art Before Breakfast. I guess it's the idea of making art the main, the first thing you do in the morning, if you can. Number 30, take a photo each day in preparation to draw from the next. I guess we saw that with, that was kind of what I was doing with, in this sketchbook here. But yeah, just um, thinking about, when you're out and about, so you're prepping yourself for the next day, a bit like I've been prepping block colour paper, taking it when I'm out and about, if I see something, and this, this is the difference, this is the thing, okay, when we're out with our phones, I know we're all taking maybe photos, but sometimes we're I'm taking photos like of the kids because they're doing something I want to remember, but it may not be the best photo. This is like almost being a ph an art photographer looking for the shot that you think might be an interesting drawing. So it's a different focus, but does require a bit of planning. And then again, if you don't want to clutter up your phone, just delete the photo when you've drawn from it. Okay, this is about figurative art because I still want to, I've put a lot of effort into getting back my skills when it comes to portraiture and drawing people and life drawing. So I don't want to let that go. So, and um, I was thinking about this, where is my, I do one yesterday it's in here yeah I did this self-portraits um we can all now take 
selfies on our phone so you can take pictures of yourself why i put self portraits is because i was reading like that yellow uh, finished reading yellow face and it's interesting because she obviously uh, in it is sort of raises a lot of questions and conversations about the whole appropriation and it's about right you know writers i guess um cultural there's a lot of themes in it but it was making me there were periods where i was feeling really weird i always love drawing people but sometimes even when i was using apps where people have agreed and want you to draw them i guess i was feeling a bit weird drawing them you know i used to think who are these who, who is this person if you draw them so accurately would they like the i was always scared to put the picture that i'd drawn of them because like would they think oh that's not yeah i don't know i was feeling a bit weird but one of the ways the reality is i think it's we need to practice and also if you're not sharing it then draw any like if i'm not going to share if i had a secret sketchbook i would draw from wherever like pinterest wherever because no one's going to see it like i'm not selling it um but if you are um but i think it is good to do self-portraits as well because to get more comfortable with yourself um and i've talked about like the chantelle joffrey's done a famous like she did a series of um self-portraits i think sandy hester's talked about self portraits is not i know it's nothing new artists are doing this all the time but this is how i was thinking i could make it better for myself because i to be honest with you i was like when i was feeling uncomfortable drawing people i didn't know like in covid and stuff i was just feeling really weird um i was thinking i'm gonna get bored of drawing myself like there's only so many times you know um but i was thinking maybe think about cindy sherman maybe i could dress up or take pictures or use myself as a reference um because then i can alter myself like i don't it's my, it's my image i can do what i want to it um so i could like i don't know put on different makeup or but that does require a little bit of planning which i'm not terribly great at but you can use family like I'm, my son at the moment everyone's happy for me to draw them i don't know if that's going to be the case in the future but you've got uh as i say the sketchy museum app people upload photos pinterest i know a lot um I see on YouTube like people have used for their hundred where's my hundred head sketchbook? Yeah like okay this one this is when I did the hundred head project these are all sketchy references so I found people that I felt like yeah and I just kept to um like I think it's a 2B pencil but yes you could use uh, oh I was a member of Draw Brighton you can also sign up and then you're paying like so you know you're paying for these images and thus i think that's okay and you can sell it do what you want with them um oh yeah and from books like drawing copying from masters i think that's a common way that we've all i can't see in the future maybe we will critique that i don't know but i can't see anything wrong in um and learning to draw from uh masters as well but my last point number 15 is uh this is to do with people who love floral art and you know want a bit of um to bring some flowers into maybe a, a project or, or um, their drawing practice um i was thinking for myself maybe like for one week i've got for example like you can't see but over to my left is it going to come into shot i can't bring them in i've got like a oh, it's just i've got a vase of flowers that i've had from like trader joe's and i've had it and they're probably near the end but what i try and do is draw from them again and again and again so they get used to my paintings i've taken photos so i've got them for later references so i put one well, for one week paint from the vase but maybe you can take out bits what the other thing i used to do when i did my um year-long project was take out flowers or things from the garden and just lay them out so you just got them you know you can even make those nice arrangements that you see uh instagram floral artists do where you lay the stem separately so play around with the arrangement or maybe you make it arrangement differently day stick it in a different vase in makeup i'm so lazy to move stuff around so i just actually just like to make up my vases and vessels and just rearrange the display now in my head in a loose way but yeah, and you could also do a week of the same, same vase of or pot plant, but just change the materials every day. Like what happens when you draw it in? Um, you could go oil pastel, pencil, paint, like gouache, acrylic. Um, yeah, so collage it. So yeah, that that is it. These are fifteen of my ideas to um, 
that I, I this is how I also approach when I am approaching if I've got a challenge I like to write things down because it's then in my head all these ideas and I might be using some of these in the next year as well let me know if any of this is useful to you um thank you as always for watching as I say I'm on Patreon as well and um yeah thanks and I'll see you next time bye